Nanakaki, kind of a different uh, 2021 season, kind of just limited to the, the Patty Center Ice Arena for practices. This guy's the pride and joy of Campbellford, Ontario. Cullen Doyle, how the heck did you end up in Alaska from Ontario, Canada? Um, well, I played my junior hockey in, uh, for the Wellington Dukes in Ontario, and um, I talked to the coaching staff, talked to Largy uh, for a while there, and then um, made the decision to uh, come here, and it was a great choice. Uh, love it here, the, the fans, the community, it's very close-knit, and um, yeah, I really enjoy it. Got to think that uh, you don't get a whole lot of uh, coaches from the other side of the Mississippi River, the, the western part of the U.S., uh, to recruit you to come back out west, do you? Yeah, you know, it was uh, it was good. Um, yeah, talk, like I said, talked to Largy for, for a while there, and, uh, and uh, yeah, everything about Fairbanks seemed uh, to fit my lifestyle and kind of small town, uh, from a small town, so it was kind of similar to here, and uh, yeah, I made the made decision to jump in. You, pl you mentioned you played for Wellington Dukes, and you had one heck of a run. You were the RBC Cup uh, runner-ups, and you scored quite a few points uh, during the regular season and into the postseason. In fact, you were named the MVP of the uh, playoffs. Yeah, that was, uh, it was an awesome run. Um, uh, you know, it was a long run. We made it to the RBC Cup finals. Uh, came up short, unfortunately, but, uh, yeah, it was an awesome group of guys, and, uh had a lot of fun uh, during that playoff run. Yeah, you had 24 points in 25 games in the postseason and overall 54 in 48 total games. Hopefully that uh, offensive promise will carry over to when we get to play hockey next. How is the practices going for you right now, and what are you working on to be a better hockey player for the Nanox come next season? Yep, we're uh, we're working hard right now. Um, unfortunately, we weren't able to play this year, but uh, we're still working on getting better, doing a lot of skills, uh, shooting. Uh, not so much team stuff, but just kind of individual skills. So we're really improving our game. And uh, we've been in the gym lots, getting stronger. And uh, I think it's going to be carry over well for next year. 5'10", 185. You'll be a junior. You were a WCHA All-Academic Honoree. And like I say, it's got to be great where you can juggle not only the, the books and the ice skates, but like I say, put the academics in with the athletics. Yep, you know, you got to be uh, good in the classroom and on the ice. You got to balance both, and uh, just time management is huge. So, just uh, finding ways to uh, get both done is uh, is really important. Anything that motivates you to just come to practice, knowing that there's not going to be a game on, say, a Friday or Saturday night, but what gets you the fire burning to keep you coming to practice day in and day out? Well, seeing my teammates is obviously great. You get to see the guys, so that's fun coming to the rink and seeing the guys. And uh, it's just working on your individual game, just. Uh, having that want for next year, um, knowing that you got to get better every day uh, kind of motivates you. Maybe a blessing in disguise. You get to work on more of your skills right now to make you a better player come next year. Yeah, exactly. Just working on shooting, uh, putting the puck in the net. That's going to be huge for next year. Any NHL player you, you model your uh, play after, and is there a favorite team that you root for in the NHL? Uh, I root for the Leafs. Um, they've, they've been my team growing up. Um, I live near Toronto, so that's, uh, that's kind of why. And then, uh, yeah, I can model my player off for, after a guy who used to play for the Leafs, uh, like a guy like Connor Brown, uh, just like a hardworking, uh, two way forward. Um, so that's someone who I would model my game after. Well, Colin, good luck in those practices. We look forward to getting you back on the ice when we get to play for real. Good luck down the stretch. Yep. Thanks a lot. Well, it's just practices and no games for the Alaska Nanook hockey team, but they're they're working hard there. Caleb Heights joining us here from the Alaska Nanooks. And uh, Caleb, how is it with just practices and no games this year? Got to be a little weird. Oh, uh, yeah, it's definitely weird. Uh, not usual for us. We're just playing games and we've been switching up practices where they're more skills based and uh, less team focused and working on position and stuff. So it's definitely weird. And yeah, we wish we were playing games, obviously, but. Right now, we're just working on our skills and getting stronger in the weight room. Kind of feel like we might be Michigan neighbors. I grew up in Saginaw. You're from Grand Blank, Michigan, just south of Flint. How's a guy from Michigan end up in Alaska? Uh, I mean, a lot of ways. I mean, I started uh, playing in the Nolan, Minnesota. Got straight up to Fairbanks. Really liked it up here. Really like the hockey community, the whole city of Fairbanks. And got a chance to become an Anuk, and I took that opportunity. In fact, you actually started with the uh, the um, 
the Ice Dogs, the Fairbanks Ice Dog hockey team got to play for those guys. And then you came to the Nanox. How did that work out for you? Probably easy to recruit for you. Yeah, it was really nice. Uh, I think Coach Largen and their whole staff before got to see me play quite a few times, playing for the Ice Dogs. And uh, I really enjoyed my time up there playing for Trevor Stewart and Scott Dewar. And uh, they really helped me uh, perfect my game. 43 games. Looks like most of your success has come against the Bowling Green Falcons, a pretty good team in the uh, WCHA. Most of the guys are business administration majors. You're accounting. Do you keep track of those numbers? And can you recall your first goal, your first points as a collegiate hockey player? Uh, yeah, uh, happened last year against uh, Arizona State. A nice pass from uh, Colin Doyle and Kyle Marino and then scored my first goal then. And a big weight off my shoulders. On top of that, you got some scholar athlete honors. So as well as you excel on the ice, you're doing pretty darn good in the classroom. Not an easy thing to do. I guess when you play junior hockey, you don't have to worry too much about going to school. Lottie, you've already graduated from high school. You, you get to concentrate on hockey. Now you, you come to college, you've got to juggle the books and the skates at the same time. Yeah, I mean, it was a lot different playing juniors. You go home, you play video games for four or five hours a day. Uh, in college, you have to you have responsibilities now, and you have to you have to go do schoolwork. So that's something that I adjusted to pretty well my freshman year, and have been doing pretty well throughout my whole entire time here. You got to earn a lot of the uh, the coaching uh, trust. You guys, uh, you were listed basically like on the fourth line for the next. You get the line chart, but I'll tell you what, you guys played like first liners uh, as you got a lot of playing time in both the penalty kill and even on the power play. You got a lot of playing time last year. Probably going to carry that confidence over to next time you get to play for real, I bet. Yeah, I mean, it helped a lot. Uh, had a slow start my freshman year, slow start to the last year. And then towards the end of the year, I was able to dial in with my line mates, uh, Colin Doyle and Camarino. We kind of formed a little bond, and we were pretty good the last half of the year and played really well. Uh, the last month of the season, where coach grew confidence in us, and then we were ready to go. And uh, I was ready for to have a big year this year, too. Being from Michigan, you a big uh, Detroit Red Wing fan, or do you have another team you root for? Uh, unfortunately, yeah, I'm a Detroit Red Wings fan for right now, but I think they'll be back, and hopefully sooner than later. Well, good luck. Uh, like I say, continue the hard work uh, practicing. Before you know it, we'll be on the ice and be, being able to play for real. Good luck, Caleb Height. Yep, thank you, Chucker.